turn 35 Mauve moved his army so um, yeah he moved it there I put it a cherub with my ogre on the mountain killed it that's how I put it is uh, his army here and so he cannot come back to his throne but he could summon a cherub so I sent a penguin to support the larvae and then I decided I should move towards his um, halfling vessels and uh, the sites nearby that, that I can clear so I sent my army on water again um, and um, the ogre because he killed the cherub is lagging behind so I sent him this way um, because Mov can move only up to here so the, the ogre should be safe but now he's alone so uh, he will lag behind for some time I guess uh, I'll do my best and maybe I'll be able to to pick um, the haysberries there to get to water faster we'll see so Mov um, was partly concealed by the the cosmic event doing minus three vision range but he did kill my uh, winch drone here and so I know he's there and of course he, he took my city so I also know he's there because of that um, so he's nearby I wanted to put my two larvae on the mountain here but I spotted uh, the banshee and the lost soul so maybe next turn they'll attack me or they'll attack, they'll attack move, we'll see but anyway I moved further away and um, I'll wait a bit and then try to take back my city but I guess he'll defend it so it's not burning um, so I, I forgot what it, what does it mean I'm going to check that ok I paused the video and I checked in theory it means he's releasing as a vessel which is pretty weird but maybe that's what he does um, the worker kept moving towards the, the watchtower I did three battles this turn so one was against the mana node another was against the sphinx temple uh, let's check it I'm, I made so I don't know what I did but I wanted strong will and break control on my sorcerer to be able to um, avoid being petrified by the uh, watcher and uh, being able with my sorcerer and being able to remove petrifaction uh, with break control but somehow I didn't click properly and so I didn't have strong will and, and uh, break control um, quite annoying especially because I just got petrified on the first attack and it d really didn't help but fortunately I had uh, a strong enough army to deal with it but I did lose uh, my builder slash uh, soldier the thermoid and um, that's annoying because he was going to build a, a fortress uh, after I cleared all those sites uh, it would have been 30 gold 10 mana and then after uh, upgrading it to Stonewall an additional 10 10 10 from the Sphinx Temple so I stalled a bit at the beginning to uh, lay eggs and uh, use the awakening uh, awaken from my AD and I was using uh, Dispel Magic from the Sorcerer to try to remove the emulations and as usual in a Sphinx Temple try to split with the Sphinx on one side attacking a target so here are a larvae transform into a worker from the egg and then the rest of the troops here and I, I, I kill them with my, my range units especially the, the cuckoo and the two heroes so I hesitated to 
cast a spell to engage, but in the end they engaged themselves. I don't know exactly why, but it was good for me. It worked more or less as planned, except that uh, I didn't position the the egg at the right place because that's actually the only X where the Sphinx cannot um, use use the sand disk. So it saved me one turn of the Sphinx being busy. Uh, it was busy one more turn. But it didn't use the sun disk, and uh, that put me a bit more at risk. Because then he can use it when he moves uh, on this area. Here, I had the firepower to kill the two mystics, and as usual, don't injure the mystics if you cannot kill them. Otherwise, they shape shift, and then you're in trouble. But this was not very well done I should have put the the sorcerer here actually and and that way I would have killed the two mystics without putting the um the queen in danger. At the same time I had this pillar here to protect me from from the Sphinx so more or less okay but was not very really good positioning. So here that's where uh, I realized that actually I don't, or, actually, or I realized before, that I didn't pick strong will and, and break control and uh, I just got petrified with 40% chance. So then it was still a bit tricky because it was 4 versus uh, 6 plus 1 but my units are not that strong and I, I don't do that much damage. So I wasn't able to kill um, the Watcher, I could have killed it with the Queen plus uh, the Bug Raider, but uh, if I did that then I would expose myself to the Sphinx. And so here I didn't yeah, plan very well, I didn't see could uh, could flank the, the Thermite. And obviously uh, I also didn't plan that very carefully and the Sun Guard was able to attack my petrified hero. So I'm not sure this move I'm also not sure it was the best one. I removed one action points for the from the Sphinx. Killed the Watcher and the Sun Guard and uh, I didn't have enough to kill the um, the mystic, so I, I removed all all our action points, but because she has predator and the tigran, it caused quite a lot of damage on my on my queen. Okay, so you can guess the end of the fight. So now I don't have the teammate to do the fortress. I went on water because this island is done. I've got two more cuckoos coming. And I've got this penguin. Uh, there's probably some Ramos in this area. I hope they don't kill the penguin. Um, here, so I explored and I found Lobo's um, city. I'm not going to enter. I'm going to actually uh, retreat and stay here, I guess. Stay concealed. He's sending a builder here. I don't know what he's doing. Um, I found it because of the watcher I just built. And um, so pr next turn maybe I I summon a penguin and then I attack it. I'm negative in terms of mana because I lost uh, Gulagar. Building. Uh, a fortress here. I oh, shit. But I, I. That sucks. That really sucks. That really, really sucks. Because I, I just killed many of my units. Um, oh, yeah. That really sucks. Double time. I lost many units trying to clear and clearing the, the training post. Um, and I don't know if I will be able to to take this mana node now. I, I, I'm not I'm not 
definitely not able to take the mana node. So I should have done the, the mana node first. I knew the trading post would be very tough. I still wanted to do it, but I should have done the mana node first and then the trading post. Uh, because I was yeah I was expecting to get the plus ten mana from from here, and I was also expecting plus ten from here, but I also lost the temoid, so I'm not getting any mana. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to deal with that. I, I will have to think about it. So at the Sphinx Temple, I got some research points, of course, which finished advanced seafaring. And now I really don't know what to research because I don't have anything good to research, and I'm I'm still at twenty. So I guess uh, I'll put the research on Dread Room. Cannot cannot uh, be a mistake and uh, Dreadry 2 and that's going to be it for now I leveled up um, so I'm not taking anything now Keep still keeping the points and I hope next time I try to pick strong will I do pick it but no I don't need it anymore for the moment and with Sorcerer so I'll probably pick Spirit of the Land or Warm at Night but I'll, I'll wait to see uh, what enemy I face before picking it. I mean, what's independent. So staying there, staying there, staying there, staying there, staying there, staying there. And that's it. Um, I, I got the. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I did equip that. Okay. So I've got uh, a red raptor now. Pugatory gave me uh, a tribute and I had the choice between two more than 200 gold and 50 mana and uh, obviously I picked the mana because I I don't have any left thanks for watching see you next turn